Hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Creek. First of all, before I say anything else, thumbs up for the porn stash quarantine beard. I need, a, I need to get a bunch of likes on this video to keep this thing, otherwise the wife's gonna make me shave it off. She hates it. <laughs> so I need you guys to fight for my right to have a mustache, or try to have a mustache. <laughs> uh, it's patchy, I know. Anyway, last episode I had you guys out here at the farm. We did some rough grading around here with the bulldozer. It was real wet. We've had a few good dry days since then and no rain, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So I gotta try and get this thing uh, finished graded to where the water's not gonna collect how it was before. We're not gonna have a stream running through the middle of my uh, shipping container shop here. So I got the dozer out here already warmed up and everything. And things have definitely dried up since uh, since then, but definitely still pretty soft. So I'm gonna do what I can with the dozer, make sure we got drainage. And then uh, I hooked up the plow behind the tractor here too. And if the dozer's still sinking a little bit too much, the tractor's pretty light, I should be able to get on there and at least smooth things up so they don't hold, uh, hold water. So nothing to it but to do it, let's go. Nothing says springs here like the smell of fresh dirt and diesel fuel. Okay, last time we were out here, like I said, we got these ditches roughly established. Uh, I was just sinking a lot, so it's hard to make them smooth, hard to make it so the water's gonna run, run out of them nice. And the other side here was even worse. So I know these swells are ever so slight and they're very hard to see on camera, but there is a swell running right down through here and that, that should direct the water down and over the hill rather than coming across into the shop area. This up here is so soft though, I, I don't think the dozer's still gonna be able to touch it really. Definitely improved from when we were out here the other day though. Back here, if you saw the last episode, I carried some of this dirt over here and brought it up and it swells up kind of right in the back here. So the water should hit that and then run to either side rather than going right through the middle.
All right, everything else seems to be uh, fairly gradable except for this spot in this back corner here. It's still too soft. I'm sinking down almost a foot here in these ruts. Uh, so all I can really do is back drag it out of here and then try to finesse it with the tractor a little bit. The tractor might even be sinking on this too much. It's, it's still pretty soft. So we'll do what we can do and that's all we can do. As I've been more than transparent about before, I'm not the best dozer hand in the world. So uh, that's about the best I can make it look like with as soft as it is with the dozer. So let's get the tractor fired up and see what we can't do with that back blade. I've never even really used one of those back blades too, too much. So they're pretty good at floating though. Let's we'll see what it does. Yeah, this thing's working great. It's, it's really doing a good job at prettying this up, not leaving all kind of track marks and everything too. It also inherently, it's gonna do a better job making it pretty because the part that's engaging the ground is behind what's pulling it. So you're not gonna have tracks through it after you're done. So you just have the blade passes over it and it's finished. So this is, uh, it's working good. It's still real soft over here. I'm not sure how good we're gonna be able to make that look, but we'll keep trying.
National came in through for me today big. Uh, I'm really impressed with how that turned out with just using a tractor blade. So as you guys can tell, it did an excellent job out here dressing things up where they were already dry. And uh, it even did pretty good over here profiling the swell a little bit better for me. I don't know how well you guys can really see that on camera, but it's definitely there. It's not supposed to be any sort of big berm. It's just, you know, enough to kind of catch the water as it comes pouring down. Back here, this corner is still really, really soft. This is going to have to sit for a while. And hopefully now that we've got drainage, uh, it'll kind of set up. It's pumping just me walking on it back here. In the back of the building here, I'm gonna have to use the hoe to get a lot of this material away from the container. It's plane up there flying, real low, buzzing my trees. So it's real tight between this stupid poplar tree that I left for some reason and the back of the building. So the dozer can't really work well in here. I'm afraid of bumping the container and that'd be real bad. Uh, but the dirt rolled up against the building which isn't a bad thing. I just want to put concrete underneath these things before I backfill them. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pull that back off of there. But even these tire tracks where the tires sunk down and made ruts into the dirt here, those are gonna work as a berm for us actually. Those tire tracks are gonna help us out. The water should run right through them and into the little swell that we cut. So uh, it should carry the water away. Back here, I got this leaning just enough that the water will run down to this lower tire track and run to either side. I've kind of got it higher in the middle here, so it should break to either side. And this side turned out the best. I'm really happy with this. This uh, rolls right up out of here, gently runs down, and all the way over the hill. It's cut over here, it's leaning just enough. This will stay nice and dry up here. And it goes all the way to the hill. And just to eyeball it, it sure looks like it's falling perfect. So I was able to take the tractor too and smooth out all the, uh, the waste material that was lumpy out here. The tractor fits down in between these trees better and can turn around without tearing everything up unlike the dozer can. I could have dressed this up with a dozer too, but it was just easier. I was on the tractor and we did it. Over here, all these roots and everything, eventually I'll smooth this all out. But this drainage is actually just kind of temporary because all these trees right here are all gonna end up being cleared out. When I build my big shop over here, this area in here is gonna be kind of like a working yard back here where I'll have equipment stored and uh, all kind of stuff like that. So I'll need like a big, I think I have it measured out on my little blueprint is like 150 by 150 area that's going to be, you know, all graveled and big enough I can turn around big trailers and stuff like that. So I'm pleased with how it turned out. That's that's for sure, it looks good. Putting this drainage in too will help just keep everything drier, even though it's gonna keep raining, that should just keep us drier in, a, in the meantime. So it'll be easier to work on things here. I'm Hopefully I'm gonna get a couple buddies rounded up here soon and uh, we can socially distance and put the last couple pieces on my roof. been raining pretty good here this morning. I'm on my way out to the farm to see how the uh, the drainage ditches are doing. So one thing great about rain is it shows you all the low spots. You can see all the little puddles and places the water is going to congregate. The other bad thing about rain is that it shows you all the low spots. Kind of makes you sick. 
uh, no matter what you do with dirt, there's always going to be little teeny puddles like this. These are nothing, you know. Uh, that's not a big deal. The inside here looks pretty good. You know, obviously, I don't have a ridge cap on yet, so I still got some water coming in that way. And then uh, there's a little bit of water I noticed running down the inside of this container, probably just because the wind's blowing that direction, because the boxes are actually leaning that direction, so the water that comes down onto the roof should run off the other side but uh, a little bit of breeze could definitely blow some under here if it's just it's not much water but it's enough that uh, re-wet this puddle back here because this was a puddle before I back drug that out yesterday and it was drying up pretty good but today it's got some water back in it but uh, most of the floor though is pretty dry the exception of the ridge cap area and that puddle everything else is uh, looking good so our ditches back here. Our swell is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The water's laying right in here and it's running out that way and hitting the ditch and going down over the hill. This side over here being that it was still soft and I couldn't really get it to look right. Uh, I mean, it's keeping the water away from the building but it's kind of setting in here and it just needs to set and dry out and get a little more firm and I'll be able to do something with it but right now it's just a mess anyway swell is definitely working anyway that's it for today guys Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps the channel out. And uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. There's uh, plenty more cool projects like this. I'm always moving dirt and playing with big equipment. So if you like that kind of stuff, I'll catch you on the next video. Later.